All right, guys, it's time to create a server module. So let us first create a file called server.js. So file new, file save, server.js. Now, we've already seen how to implement a basic HTTP server. So the first line is going to be requiring the module. So variable HTTP is equal to require and then HTTP. Now we call the create server function of the HTTP module. So HTTP dot create server and this returns an object which has a method called listen which specifies the port number. So we're going to be listening on port 8888. So we have created a server that does nothing. Let's go ahead and see how to listen to requests so in our create server function we can specify an anonymous function so function request response and then first line is going to be response dot right head we are going to be telling the status was okay so status 200 and then an object which specifies the content type oh, sorry about that content type is going to be text slash plain and then we are going to response dot write hello from our application then response dot end so nothing new so far we've already seen this in one of the previous videos so save it open a command prompt and then type node server dot js I'm just going to start if you go to your browser so HTTP localhost 8888 so we get the response hello from our application pretty good now one thing is writing the code for the server but the second thing is understanding why we write code in this particular way and that's very important the reason is that we don't want node.js to start the server start the server and then just pause the execution doing nothing until the next request arrives we also don't want the scenario where we accept a second request only when the first request is completed we want to make use of the asynchronous event driven model uh, using these callback functions in node.js so by making use of this function here it is going to respond only when a request arrives and when there is no request it is just going to continue executing the remaining part of the code so let me show what i mean by that if i add a line so let's say console.log and request received and then after the after creating the server let's say console.log server started on local host port 8888 now go ahead and save it let me go back and execute all right let me restart by control c and then node server.js then we get server started on local host 8888 and when we refresh or we when we make a request it says request received now the second request received is actually a request for the fav icon you can ignore this for now we are not really bothered about it so just consider the one request received so what happens here is that we are telling node.js when only there is a request to the server then respond with data if there is no request you can continue executing other code which is what we want we don't want a server to be created waiting for a request 
locking the execution of the remaining part of the code. So that's how you create a server and why you wrote why you write code in this particular fashion using functions callback functions but let's try to keep this in a and let's try to keep our server creation in a single line so let let me just refactor it so remove this function and let's say on request and then let's create our function so function on on request and this is going to be passed on to our create server function so save it and then if we execute node server so we have started on app we have started on port 8888 when we refresh it we get the request received so that's how we create a server and in the next video, let us see how to organize our code a bit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're enjoying the videos, please leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.